because this is a repeat application for the grant of bail medals the offender is one sangeepu chakradhar offenses my lord are under sections 379 120b 420 and 30 sir of stones kya hai bata dijiye uh, milits the main accused person in this case mustakin was granted bail by the honorable apex court thereafter sir kya ground likha hai apex court ne unko ek saal ho gaya hai ji i'll take my lords i'll take malaj me just bear with me mustakin was bail applications were rejected by this honorable court in fact no bail applications were allowed the co accused persons and mustakin In the month of November, Mustakin's bail application came to be rejected on merits. Mustakin challenged that order before the apex court, mm. and he got a favorable order, my lord, mm. from there. Now, my lord, there were about three aspects which weighed with the Honorable Supreme Court mm. while granting bail to Mustakin. If my lord will just have the order of the Supreme Court, my lord, yes. that is on page twenty-six onwards. Yes. May I read from the top of page twenty-seven? Yes, as you like. Thank you. Now, counsel for the state, with reference to their objection statement, would contend that the trial is in progress and therefore there is no cause to release the petitioner on bail. However, having taken into consideration the said aspect of the matter, we also note that the petitioner has been in custody for about a year, comma. and the other co accused have already been released on bail in the connected offences in any event the petitioner is required to diligently cooperate in the trial if the petitioner fails to do so it will be open for the respondent state to bring the reluctance on the part of the petitioner to the notice of the concerned court for appropriate action in the matter now these were the considerations which were largely consideration number 1 was most certainly that mustakin had served about 1 year in custody and consideration number 2 was that all the other co accused have been released on bail in the connected offences now mills it is a parity on two uh, on two parts mm-hmm. now after this order came mills every other co accused person approached this honorable court and this honorable court was magnanimous enough to grant bails to sohrab musa and farman mm-hmm. on the ground that it is non distinguishable from the case of mustakin mm-hmm. Yes. and allowing the doctrine of parity my lord granted bail uh, bails to those persons now mills this application came to be considered last mm-hmm. wide order dated 21st of march 23 that is on page 28 page 28 yes mm-hmm. no i'm sorry mills that is the co accused persons bail order this accused persons bail order my lords mm-hmm. is on page 34 onwards mm-hmm. Page thirty-four, my lords. This was on the twenty-seventh of March, twenty-three. None had appeared on behalf of the present applicant. What had happened on this day, my lords, is that two matters were listed: the present applicant's matter and one Farman's matter was listed. Now, Farman's matter, his brother had appeared. Farman was, of course, he had parity on both counts. That is why my lords heard the matter and my lords passed orders allowing Farman's bail application. Owing to the fact that they were clubbed together, yes. I presume my lords also took up this matter and passed these orders. Yes. But my lords, my submission would be that none had appeared for the applicant in this matter. So who stopped the persons appearing for the applicant? That was out of the council's own volition, my lords. Huh? That was out of the council's own volition. Then, the court is not to blame. How can court be can be based? No, they are not blaming the court. Then, then why you are arguing this aspect? I am saying that the representation to the applicant was not there. Is it necessary that when case is listed? court should wait for the parties to appear and should wait that lawyers who are illegally striking and abstaining from work should be allowed to return back well that will be a very objective answer on my part which will have nothing to do with the facts of the case so i'll refrain from answering very well if off the record my lord this to question i would i would like to answer that but not during the court has already case. held that such calls by the bar council or the bar association are illegal Then there is a division the bench issue. order of even our high court which yes. says that mills lawyers going on strike does not amount to contempt yes, yes. there is a division bench of our high court prior to the and slow motor registration so i had issued contempt notices yes yes i don't whenever, know who was the counsel you i was the counsel how oh, you were the counsel whenever yes. those notices come to me i'll so just reply let us list this case along with the contempt notices then we'll hear it, this case mills the contempt notices have got i will strongly that. object my lords to this my lords may record my objection and dismiss my application no, no, i am making this is i'll hear it with the, along with the contempt my lords i am i am objecting to that after i will note your objection and then my lords may first object. hear me at least that much today the counsels are appearing today the counsels are not on strike merit pe to media to contempt pe merit pe maine khatam hi nahi kiya sir 
अच्छा चलिए बताइए देर इज अट विच रिमेन्स ऑन मेरिट हाँ बताइए Now, millets. Once this application came to be decided by my laws, my laws only looked at the aspect of parity from one point of view as to whether the custody period is similar to that of mustakin or not. Now, millets, giving a finding, my law said after the notices of contempt were issued against me, my law said this is the first bail application on behalf of the applicant Chand uh, Ch Chakradar Sangeepu in relation to crime number such and such registered at police station. For offences punishable under Section 379, 120 B, 420, and 34 of the Penal Code, applicant is in custody since 19, 1022. Council uh, Learned Government Advocate submits that the present applicant, Chakradar Sanghepu, is the main accused. He is the kingpin. He was evading arrest. He has recently been arrested. He was operating a gang. Honorable Supreme Court has granted benefit of bail to one of the co-accused persons, observing that his custody period was over one year. in the present case the applicant's custody is of recent origin and his custody period is not over one year therefore there is no parity ji now millets what i submit is that the honorable supreme court had granted parity on two counts ji the first count was that all other offense all other accused persons in connected offenses have also been released on bail now if my lords will only permit me i would like to just dig a little deep where that aspect of parity is concerned now millets when the honorable supreme court says that all other co accused person and the present applicant as well have been granted bail in connected offences what would be the legal implication my lords now including the present applicant's case or including the instant case there are four other matters pending against the present applicant as were pending against all the co accused persons indeed those were sohrab mustaqeen musa and farman they were taken into custody earlier in time now millets in the instant case also sangeepu was taken into custody later in time but for all similar four offences now millets in all those matters which are not this offence sangeepu has already been granted bail now if my lords will just see i have filed those orders those orders are on page 37 onwards page 37 my lords this is sangeepu's bail order passed by the learned district uh, sessions court itself and on uh, order dated 5123 he has been enlarged on bail there after my lords will see page 41 this is of another offence registered at sivni all arising out of these same connected offences we may call them safely yes. bail was again granted my lords in this offence yes. white order dated it is 14th of january 23 my lords yes. now millets what i submit is that when we look at the operation of these orders although bail has been granted personal liberty in these matters of the present applicant stands secured he will not be able to reap the benefits of those orders just because he is not being granted bail in this case my lords right. that i humbly submit my lords can never be the intention of the court right. similarly my lords what has weighed with the honorable supreme court is exactly that when the supreme court was faced with a situation that in all other connected matters when all other co accused persons and the present applicant has already been granted bail right. then why will the present case only be that one case which does not allow him to be set at liberty right. now millets coming to the doctrine of parity yes. millets the doctrine of parity or i may humbly submit millets almost any doctrine is of general application let me take another doctrine millets as an example that is falsus in uno falsus in omnibus they say that it is mechanically not applicable in india now that is a very general term millets the whenever we talk about a doctrine it is implied within the word doctrine itself that there is general application to it now millets the question which would arise before my lords is can a legal proposition which is of general application have a pedantic approach to the application i millets would like to answer that question with a very unequivocal no because something which is of general application something like the doctrine of parity cannot take a very pedantic approach towards its application now millets here we have a case in which the nature of allegations against both parties against all parties in fact are identical and i would say that against mustakeen and sangeepu they are almost identical because they are both arrayed as accused in the nature of conspirators there is no direct evidence against mustakeen or uh, uh, sangeepu mustakeen at the point in time of the offence was said to have been by the prosecution in pratapgarh sangeepu was said to be at the time of incidents at andhra pradesh the persons committing the offence all three gentlemen all three accused persons have already been granted bail who the prosecution story was that they were present on the spot in fact stealing the cars yes. now what i very humbly submit my lords is the doctrine of parity if it is just whittled down or just reduced 
to one simple point of factual distinguishment well that would go against the doctrine of parity mala and especially in a jurisprudential system where we accept two things mala it's number one that there is nothing more important and beyond personal liberty and number two where we believe very strongly that bail is the rule and jail is not now when we take these principles in mind and we see the doctrine of parity i believe my lords even my lords would concur with me to some extent whether or whether not it reduces itself to the order or not but there will be a certain sense of concurrence that the doctrine of parity is to be applied with generally and i would not say leniency but with some amount of enforcement of this rule of bail is the rule and uh, the uh, uh, aspect of personal liberty right now means under these circumstances i pray that the same arguments which were raised before the honorable supreme court are still available mustaqeen and all millets were taken into custody in the month of march 2000 yes. he is the mastermind of the entire story mal first the date of arrest is mal uh, 2010 of 22 mal second this does by sir third mal is jab hua is teen number plate this just kaise likhi hai आपने एप्लीकेशन में उन्नीस दस कैसे लिखी हो बीस दस इज द डेट यूज प्रेजेंटेड बिफोर द मैजिस्ट्रेट अरेस्ट में वो किस तारीख का अरेस्ट में गिरफ्तारी बीस दस बाईस में आई जस्ट लुक आपने गलत डेट लिखी है दूसरे अपराधों का अरेस्ट इन क्राइम नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ लिखी हुई हाँ हाँ बीस दस है सर एज पर दरेस्ट मेमो इसको करेक्ट करिए पहले तो एप्लीकेशन को डेट को देखेंगे डेट ऑफ अरेस्ट ऑफ द एप्लीकेंट एज उन्नीस दस दो हजार बाईस श्री नितिन गुप्ता लंडन डिप्टी गवर्नमेंट एडवोकेट पॉइंट आउट दट द करेक्ट डेट ऑफ अरेस्ट इज बीस दस दो हजार बाईस एप्लीकेंट मे मूव एन अप्रोप्रिएट एप्लीकेशन फॉर करेक्शन ऑफ दिस्ट देर सो ब्लाइज